Just picked up this uh, Group 78 battery. Uh, it's a Walmart, but you know they're made by uh, you know the same place that Johnson Controls pretty much makes all the batteries. Uh, this one is 100, 800, 800 cold cranking amps. <laughs> that's that's powerful. The battery I got in here now is it's over six years old and it's still test out absolutely fine. Um, this one is 550 cold cranking amps. Well, it's 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 a powerful battery for this thing because um, the one that came in here is actually this is a Group 75. You'll find that in a lot of cars. The Sebring takes it. I'm going to put it in the Sebring. Um, I've used the the uh, desulfating trickle chargers on these batteries. You seem to get a lot of life out of them. So it's, it's over six years old. It's still good, but it's getting a new one. Um, the Group 78, which is the best one by Walmart, which is equivalent to about, you know, it's not a Walmart battery, it's a Johnson Controls. You know, they pretty much make probably like two-thirds of the batteries in the United States. Um, it's double the capacity of the stock battery that goes in this thing, so, and this thing's got plenty of power too, so, we'll be swapping that out. There should be enough room. It won't fit a Group 79. Unless you do something to this thing in the front here, but the Group 78 maybe is about that much wider. You got some room here, got a little room there. It'll fit in there, no problem. And since this is a larger battery, um, I didn't want. I wanted to use a side terminal, so I used the uh, use these adapters in the battery. You can change you can change the ends on the cable if you wanted to, but I prefer to doing it this way. Um, it, there's the hood clearance, you know, it would close, but if we thought, say, the strap came a little loose or something like that, you don't want the top of these things to possibly short out. You can see the ratings on it. This is 800 cold cranking amps. This is 550. This was overkill for this thing as it is. It only needs 400, so. And we'll just put it in here. And uh, you could put... You know, dielectric grease on there. What I do sometimes is just use this. This is pretty good stuff. It's better than the uh, ordinary WD-40. It does prevent rust pretty well. Much better than the ordinary WD-40, so I'll spray that on there. Well, she's in there, and actually, anytime you make you put a bigger battery in, you're probably going to run into something. The uh, I had to hammer this over more. Now, that's the ground. That's not the positive. If the positive was over there, boy, that would be a problem. I knew about that being the ground, so. Um, <coughs> the other thing is, even though this is the same width, um, I couldn't slide this just a hair more this way, so I had to, um, because of this, I had to put the mount over here and I had to cut this like that, but, you know, everything closes, everything works, so it, it is a huge battery, so. Probably should change out the alternator one of these days and put a new starter in it. It does have the, um, the click fix click fix thing that, that you put in with, uh, it's another relay you put in with the starter that Suzuki has a problem sometimes with the starter, you know, not engaging the solenoid. There's a fix for it. It's got that in there, but it's got the original starter, but it does start up no problem. So that's it, but it, it, it fits, but you're going to, it's not plug and play, okay, 100%. It's the other thing, so. But I'm glad I got the bigger size because uh, just some added insurance, so. And because I'm running HHO, the other thing, too. I'm still running an HHO thing right there, which pulls some power. You know. But now I think about doing the kingpins. I don't want to do them right now. I'm a little bit tired, didn't enough, get enough sleep. And every time you do something, not every time. Sometimes it goes faster than usual, but usually you run into some something that stops you or slows you down, even with something with a simple battery change. So anyway, over and out. But I'm glad I got this damn thing because it's it's huge. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to say on this. You know, I've had this. Uh, I'll show it to you right over here. I got several of these battery chargers. It's like Yasuo makes a good one, probably. This thing here, uh, not this one. Um, the other one that's around, oh, 
that's the Bedini battery charger right there. Uh, I forgot which where I put it. I had it over here. This one. This one, I'm trying to, uh, well, I got it unplugged right now. So I was using the cord. But uh, this one is the one you want to get. Uh, you want to get the cheapest one, the battery minder. I think it's better than the Bedini. And uh, that's this is the thing I was using when this first came out. I put it on a one-year uh, AutoZone battery. It wasn't a door last battery. No AutoZone makes it door last. I got 16 and a half years out of that thing. It was really small, really small battery. It's like the one that was supposed to go in that Suzuki. It's like a 400 cold cranking amps, Group 51. And using this thing, it was a one-year warranty battery. It's the cheapest one. Using that thing, I got 16 and a half, years, almost 17 years out of it. And, I, and that thing it got wet really bad a couple of times. That's what happened with it. And uh, you know, I, when I got the Bedini chargers, I thought, well, I don't need that. I'll find out. That thing's the best thing going. It's not that much money, too. I think it's only like 28 bucks on Amazon. You know, this Bedini charger, like 150 bucks. I got one that's 350 dollars. I don't think like, they're good. But I got I think that battery minder, that thing's the best thing in the world. So I got two more of them coming. I found out the flow chargers, they help, but you're not gonna get seven, 15, 16 years out of a battery. You might get five or six, but not not like that. So this thing, I don't know, it's over six years old and it's really, really strong still, so I don't know what the hell the deal is. But you know what happens? I think this is what goes on with them because they can be really good and all of a sudden they're crap, right? All of a sudden, when they're really old, they'd be going really strong and all of a sudden, boom, they don't work. They don't, you're just, you're clicking, clicking, nothing's starting. What I think is going on is, uh, the, so the plates, the sulfation is like settling down to the bottom where the plates are. And once it gets to a critical part amount of sulfation, the plates short out. And then you, then you can't freaking bring it back. See, but I think I might do is on one of the old batteries. I might try pouring out the acid and uh, let it's putting in vinegar instead of baking soda. Let the vinegar soak down there. See if that really cleans it out really good. Because I really don't see why batteries should wear out. I mean, unless they physically get damaged, like you get a hole in them or something, or there's a plate that physically gets buckled or something. But I don't think they should break. I don't think they should. I think what happens is like the sulfation settles down to the bottom of the battery. And then one day it just, it's so much sulfation, it just gets to that critical point where it shorts out one of the cells and you can't start the car. That's why I was getting worried about this one because it's, even though it seems really strong right now, it's six and a half years old. That's freaking old battery, man. And I know it's supposed to be a five year battery or some crap, but you know. But again, that Bedini, not the Bedini, um, it's a good charger. That's a good charger, too. But the best one, I think, for the bang for the buck, just get this plain battery minder. Do not get the ones with all the bells and whistles on it. Get the original one, the real simple one, for like 28 bucks off of Amazon. That's the one you want. And uh, the batteries, you might get a good 10 years out of them. Easy. You know, easy. That's what I'm hoping to do with this one. You see here too? Oh, I want to mention that. You see how you have this? Pull this cap off. And you got your you can put your charger on here. Without opening the hood. So that's another thing. So I'm gonna to try to make uh, things last a lot longer because it makes things more reliable and uh, you spend less money too thing uh this may sound stupid but i take the nail polish and you know it says plus here minus here and i know you can say oh there's a red wire here and all this kind of crap and that's whatever the ground you know we all remember that but sometimes when it's dark out not enough light you can see that it shows up right away so you know you got you know you're hooking up the right way if you got to hook something up right stupid thing but it helps